hello everyone welcome back to the altrix tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about some more uh, tools that are present in the data preparation group in excel uh, in altrix so the first tool that we are going to look in this is the formula tool so the formula tool is actually used to create new columns uh, update the columns or use the expressions to perform a variety of the calculations on the already existing values that are present in the columns okay so we can use it to apply conditional statements convert uh, the data type from one to another format the dates extract file paths apply algorithms clean the data apply the validations or uh, perform the tests etc okay so let us see how are we going to use this formula tool so right now i have got the same data set that is the consumer sheet from the sample store data set okay and i have cleansed it that is removed the inconsistencies now let's just bring up our formula tool to here and in this what i'm going to do is uh, in the configuration panel I have two options either I can just select a column and that data would be overwritten or I can add a new column. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm going to add a new column. So add a column and then you got to specify the name of the column. So that's going to be profit slash loss. Okay. And here what I'm going to do is apply a conditional statement that. Uh, this conditional statement if the value of the profit so for getting the column names we can simply just use a square bracket so we have the profit value over here if the profit value is greater than equals to zero then the value in this column is going to be profit else it is going to be loss okay like this and whatever the text for uh, value you want you need to just write it in the single quotes okay so the size we can just specify over here it's going to be the data type we can uh, check is going to be the variable string and click on run now it's going to take a few seconds 1.6 seconds to be precise and as you can see uh, we should be getting a new column over here and here on the very last uh, you can see the column profit and loss if the values are positive then we are getting the value profit if it is negative then we are getting the value loss okay uh, so here is a warning in the profit that uh, the there was a large value over here but it has been rounded up by altrix for clarity okay so that's why the red uh, is being shown over here the red mark has been shown over here so this is one way of using the formula tool right um, just like this you can actually make changes into the existing data like um, right now if you just don't want to add an extra column so we want to apply another formula and the thing is that I want to get the profit and the loss the same thing but in this column only that is the value that is showing me profit in that value only I want this to happen so I can just select the column and here I'm just going to select the profit column okay now if I just click on run then what would happen is the values in that particular column would be overwritten okay so there is an error uh, the thing is that we wanted string value but the field is numeric so that's why it's not happening so let me just change it a little bit that is over here if there is a profit then i want 100 to be written over there else i want zero to be written over here okay or i can just actually you know uh, change its data type as well like it's double so 100 and zero would be okay let's click on run now if you just go to this output panel and here we have only two values 100 and 0 100 and 0 so this is how you can actually update the existing values or create a new column now in case you want to remove any formula you can uh, just go to that formula and here is this delete button you can just delete that 
and now if you again run it then the changes that were made initially would be overwritten and you would be getting the original values of the profit that were present in the call so this is how we work with the formula tool to either add new columns or update the existing columns right next tool that we are going to talk about is the sample tool so let's just go to the sample tool now what is the sample tool it is used to limit the data stream to a specified number percentage or a random set of rows uh, also if you want a selected configuration to the columns uh, so to be applied you can group the columns using the sample tool so let's just get the sample tool over here and as soon as we get it this is the configuration panel that we are getting the first option is the first n rows uh it returns every row in the data from the beginning to the data through the value of n like you can specify a value of n here you can see right now if we just run it so it would uh, return the first 100 rows as you can see first 100 has been shown over here because the value of n was 100 but if we just set it to 10 and then run it so what will it do is it would just show you the first 10 rows okay so you can set the value of n next option is last n rows which of course is uh, used to show us the last n rows the value of n which you can specify as per your wish next is skip first n rows which returns all the rows in the data that start after the specified number of rows next we have one of every n rows that means return the first row of every group of n rows like if i just select 10 so the whole record would be uh split into groups of 10 and the first row in each group would be returned to me so if you just run it then we would be able to see the changes like through this row id like 1 then 12 then 26 then 48 this is how the rows are being returned to me okay next is one in chance one in n chance to include each row that means it would return randomly it would randomly determine if each row is included in the sample or not so the random uh, values are being uh, returned to me as you can see from the row id itself 11 then 20 then 21 randomly the rows are being returned to me okay so um then we have the first n percent of rows that means it returns the n percent in this case the 10 percent of rows it requires the data to pass through the tool twice like once we calculate the count of rows and then to return the specified percent of rows okay then we can just run it to get the n percent of rows that's the 10% of the rows out of the total values okay so there were around 5000 or uh, 191 records so 519 records that's the 10% of the records have been displayed over here okay next we have is the group by option so if you want to group it uh, on the basis of some column that you can do let's just group it by category and just get the first 10 rows to be grouped by category we can click on run so this is what we would be getting in the output okay so for nature categories then the office supplies categories and the technology categories have been used to group by the values so this is how the sample tool works for us uh next we have is the sort tool so the sort tool is actually a uh, very important and as the name suggests it is used to sort the data so um let's see how it works it actually takes two things into consideration let's just get the sort tool over here it takes two con uh, things into consideration the name and the order so basically uh, any of the name of the field that you want to sort and in which order you want to sort if in the ascending order or in the descending order okay so let's just uh, delete this tool once and let's see how we manually apply it like without using this tool okay so now if we just run this we would be getting our hands on the data set okay yeah so if you want to sort the values like i want to sort it on the basis of the sales so let's just go to the sales column Uh, click on these three dots go to sort and i want to sort it on the basis of the ascending order then click on apply so once we do that we can click on this uh, red uh, this green tick button uh, 
and you would see that it has been applied if you just click on the output actually run the workflow so here is what we would be getting the sorted values like you can see the value have been sorted on the basis of the sales the ascending order the sort tool has already been applied and the name is taken as sales and the order is taken as ascending so this is the usage of the sort tool that's all for this video thanks for watching